It's looking like there could be a PS5 in 2018. What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. I love talking about this. There's lots of rumors out there in the world about the PS5 and I love all the hate I get in the comment section because I've done this before. I've been gaming for a very long time and I've been right on so many things it's been kind of insane. But I've always said, I've said it for probably the last year and a half, that the PS5 would, would launch uh, in holiday 2018. Now I know a lot of people say, no Beastly, it's too soon. I've talked about this in many videos. It's insane to think it's too soon. The PS4 has been out since 2013, okay? So it's been out for quite a number of years. And now some respectable, uh, some respectable voices and analysts who predicted previous launches are saying the same thing. And I'll drop a link in the description. Next generation PlayStation system will launch in 2018, analyst predicts. New PlayStation hardware could arrive as soon as next year. The wait for the next iteration of PlayStation may not be as far away as you expect, at least according to one analyst. The Wall Street Journal reports that Maguire Capital Securities analyst Damon Thong said he expected Sony to release its next generation PlayStation by the second half of 2018. Analyst predictions don't always pan out, and this isn't necessarily based on an inside scoop, but the Wall Street Journal's reporter notes on Twitter that this is the same analyst who correctly predicted PS4 Pro and Slim ahead of their respective launches. So this guy has a little bit of credibility if you want to look back and say, well, he was right. So hopefully you guys give him more credit than me. That certainly lends credence to the prediction, though in all likelihood we won't receive any official word from Sony for quite some time. The PS4 was announced nine months prior to its release, while the PS4 Slim and Pro revisions were revealed just one week and two months respectively before they hit store shelves. Announcing a new system in the near future would undercut some of the hype of Microsoft's upcoming Project Scorpio, which stands to be more powerful than the PS4 Pro. But doing so would likely have an effect on sales of the PS4 and the PS4 Pro, with Sony's console routinely outselling the competition. It may be too soon to tease new hardware. Now, Sony has released their uh, fiscal earnings report for 2016. And in that report, they detailed how many PS4 Pros and PS4s they sold, how much money they earned. Let me just say, Sony's video game division is really the only thing keeping Sony afloat. They're losing money hand over fist in every other division of the company. They sold 20 million PS4s in the last 12 months. Uh, so they sold more in 2016 than they sold in 2015. And more than likely, that's because of the PS4 slim. But they also stated in this report that they were expecting lower sales numbers this year. That might be because of a possible reveal. I'm not saying that they're definitely going to do it, but I have a strong feeling that we're going to hear some big news from Sony right around the time that the Scorpio is revealed and launched. It might be at E3. They might say something at E3. Uh, who knows for sure. But I think before the end of the year, we definitely could see something. The Wall Street Journal doesn't elaborate on what Thong believes the system will look like. Quote, next generation PlayStation, end quote, could mean PlayStation 5. Scorpio launches toward the end of 2017, and if a new PlayStation comes less than a year later, the two will inevitably be, be compared. Scorpio, which is essentially a souped-up Xbox One, will be capable of playing all Xbox One games and hundreds of Xbox 360 games. If Sony launches a brand new system after it, will it be able to play PS4 games, or will its library be limited to new releases? That's a big question. That's the key question we don't yet have answers to. So, I look, the PS5 is definitely going to happen. Uh, Sony's video gaming division is their most profitable division. They're going to start dumping more and more assets into it, in my opinion. They've already got the best developers and the best studios, and to me, in the gaming world, uh, working on their consoles. So I think at this point, they're probably going to take some resources from some of their failing ventures and dump it into their gaming division to make it more robust and more exciting. I think that they're they're planning on this. I think Shuya Yoshida probably already knows what this thing can do. The PS5, I can't see it coming any later than 2019. It's possible 2018. I don't know if they if they announce it this year, then they probably will uh, release it next year, and and that will be their way of stif stifling anyone who's like on the fence about getting the Scorpio, because while the Scorpio is powerful, there aren't going to be any exclusives for it. That's a downer. It's going to be able to play games that are native 900p at 4K resolution, 60 frames per second. It's going to have an insane boost mode. 
It's going to be able to play VR. It's going to be able to do all kinds of stuff. And so the fact that it's going to be able to play VR lets you know in some way it's going to have exclusives because there are no VR games on the Xbox One. So, hmm, BC Gamer exclusive there. I just thought about that. There are no VR games on the Xbox One. So the fact that it's going to be able to play VR lets you know that they're planning exclusives for the Scorpio. This is an exciting time. You guys let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Do you think it's more reasonable now to think that the PS5 is looming? Do you think that someone's getting ready to surprise us with a big reveal or big announcement? Or do you think that we're going to wait for three or four more years? Let me know. I know this kind of topic really gets you guys riled up in the comments. Don't get too riled up. You know, it's still speculation. It's still speculation for me. But I still wholeheartedly believe that we're going to see it really soon. I think that Sony's going to make an announcement this year. I, I'm willing to bet on that. If I'm wrong, I'll... I'll eat my hat, but I don't wear a hat. I'll eat your hat. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for my channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and if you'd like to support this independent YouTube channel, visit my Patreon and become a patron. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.